grace and mercy and peace belong to you from God our Father and from our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. We as a congregational family, as we are reading through the books of Holy Scripture, chronologically, this week we have entered the Old Testament book of Numbers. In one of those chapters of the, of the book of Numbers that we are reading for this week, in, in Numbers chapter 6, we come across some familiar words, extraordinary words, far more powerful than what we often realize. It has come to be known as the Aaronic Blessing. It's the blessing that the Lord directed the first high priest, Aaron, and those with him, his sons, to pronounce upon God's people. And the Lord gave this promise. He said that when they pronounce this blessing upon his people, the Lord says, then I will put my name on the Israelites and I will bless them. One of the great blessings that the Lord promises is worthy of a pause for some consideration. If you've ever been in a uh, conversation with several people and the person who is who is holding that group together in conversation uh, and is explaining something to everyone. But if that person never turns towards you and gives you any kind, kind of eye contact or any kind of acknowledgement, if, if you've ever been in that situation, perhaps you're new to the group or whatever it happens to be, you can feel a little bit left out. And, and so uh, body language people emphasize over and over that when you are talking to a group of people, don't just direct your face towards a select few. Make sure that you are turning your face to include absolutely everyone there to make sure to assure them that they have your attention, that you are including them, that their focus is upon you as well. And yet there are times in our lives when we may feel as if no one is turning his or her face towards us, that we feel uh, left out, forgotten, invisible. Sin does that. Sin is very good at that. It, it, it promises all kinds of inclusion and fun and fulfillment. But the reality is that at the end of the day, uh, Satan uses sin to alienate us, to give us a sense of emptiness, lostness, despair, isolation. Isolation from each other, isolation from our God. But that's the whole reason why Jesus came. The whole reason why he came here to live a holy life on our behalf and to suffer and die on a cross for our every sin is to bring us back in, to cleanse us in his blood, to bring us back into his family where we never are alone and never excluded ever ignored, ever again. And so one of the blessings in this extraordinary, ironic blessing is that the Lord promises to turn his face towards you. That in the worst of trouble, when, when all seems dark, when all seems alienating and, and frightening, cold. We know from the word of our God that the Lord sees us. The Lord is turning his face towards us. 
the Lord is embracing us in his grace. The Lord never leaves our side. And when the moments seem lonely, and when the moments seem dark and cold, that sure promise from our Lord is priceless. In a moment, we will hear that beautiful ironic blessing from Numbers chapter 6. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now the reading from God's word, from Numbers chapter 6. The Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons, This is how you are to bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. So they will put my name on the Israelites and I will bless them. 